So this is combination. Let's see how we can break down this problem. Solution. Before we go ahead to simplify this problem, remember that when you are talking of something factorial, 5 factorial is equal to, if you want to solve it, you keep 5. They keep multiplying by reducing 1. If you say you keep 5, 5 minus 1 is 4. Use 4 to times it. 4 minus 1 is 3. 3 minus 1 is 2. 2 minus 1 is 1. And 5 factorial is 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. That's the same thing we are going to do here. This is equal to, if you want to solve this one, we this is n square minus 4 factorial. Then we have to keep the first one minus 4. Then multiply by minusing 1 from the first one. That is n squared minus 4 minus 1 is equal to n squared minus 5. So I will write n squared minus 5. I can continue factorial. But I will not go ahead because I can see n squared minus 5 factorial here. I have seen it also at the denominator. So I will now be able to cancel. For that reason, I will not go ahead. Look at what I will do. Then n, n minus n squared minus 5 factorial here. Then this one will divide this one. We are left only with this one. So that we have n squared minus 4 over n minus 2. What do we see here? I'm seeing the difference of 2 squared here. That is n squared minus 2 raised to the power 2 over n minus 2. Then n squared minus 2 squared is difference of 2 squares and it has a formula. Look at how you do it. Open two brackets. The first letter here is n. Write it at the first part of the bracket, two brackets. Then if you if you like, you can write plus here. But if you write plus here, write minus here. The last number here is 2. Write it here and write it here. As simple as it is. That's difference of 2 squares. Then you have n minus 2 here. What can you see? n minus 2 can divide n minus 2. We have 1, have 1 here. And the only thing we are left with as our final answer is n plus 2. Thank you.